So hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, recently I saw a post on Twitter about how the camera is actually one of the most used APIs in React Native. At that point I thought to myself, a lot of times in my career I was making a lot of things with the camera, like barcode scanners and things like that. Uh, so today I thought it'd be really cool if I made a tutorial on how to do a QR code scanner to help you guys out to get started with that when using Expo. So as always, the code for this is in the description. The main branch is of course the solution to this project, and you can go to the starter branch if you wanna follow along. All right, that's everything. Uh, let's get into the tutorial. So let's talk setup. As you can see, we already here have just some basic boilerplate. There's nothing working. There's nothing with the camera. It's just some basic screens uh, and layouts here. Um, no code's doing anything just yet. So what we're going to start by doing is we're going to install Expo Camera and we can do that doing npx expo install Expo Camera, of course, quite easy to do. Once Expo Camera is installed, the next thing we're going to do is go into our app JSON and look for plugins. I'm going to copy and paste this code because you can get it easily from the Expo documentation. Uh, but if you want, you could also copy it from the solution. Uh, after you're done. But really all this does is in the app.json sets up the expo camera and just gives some values for the different permissions that we're going to need when we request later. At this point, we're going to want to run pre-build and this will take a little while. But what pre-build does is it allows the binaries for the development builds to actually come together um, so that we can use expo camera. Now, before I cut away to the end of this installation, I wanna talk about something really important right now. Because we're using the camera and because we're using a development build, you cannot use Expo Go and you cannot use any simulators or emulators. You need to be using an actual iPhone or an actual Android device. Today I'm using the Pixel and I'm just mirroring it to the screen here. All right, so with my development build ready, the next thing that we're going to have to do is request permissions in order to use the camera. That's not too hard. The way we do this is we use a nice hook from the camera library called use camera permissions. Oops. And we can import that like this. And within Expo, within the camera permissions, we get the permission as the first parameter and the function that requests the permission as the second parameter. So I'm gonna whip off a couple buttons here. The first button is going to request the permission. That of course means we're gonna put a text inside here that says request permissions. Next button that we're gonna make is going to be an Expo router link because this is actually gonna let us go to the next screen in order to do the QR code scanning. And the next screen is gonna be the scanner. And we wanna put a button inside of it. So we need to use this as child um, directive so inside here, we're gonna make a second pressable. It's gonna be disabled if the permissions are not enabled. And we're gonna need an extra variable for that. We're gonna call it is permission granted. It's gonna be a Boolean. And we're gonna say that if the permission is granted, then we're gonna say permissions granted, obviously. So this button will always be disabled if the permission is not granted. And inside of here, we're gonna throw in another text. Inside here, I'm gonna throw in my default button styles. But the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm also going to have an opacity. And if the permission is not granted, I'm gonna make the opacity 0.5. Otherwise, I'm gonna make it fully opaque with one. And then the button is going to say scan code. 
So at this point, if I reload, because I don't think this is connected, we should see it. And we do. You see there's two buttons here, permissions and scan code. So if I press the request permissions button now, you see that the permissions come up. I can say while using the app. And as you can see, scan code now becomes enabled. There's nothing on this screen, but next we're gonna work on getting the QR code working. And that's what we're actually gonna display here. Okay, so now that we've got the permissions going, next thing we're gonna work on is getting the actual camera to show on the screen. And the first part, luckily for us, is quite easy because Expo does an awesome job. Just like any other React Native component, we of course have access to style. And I want it to fill the entire screen, so I'm gonna use the absolute fill object. Next, we get to choose which way our camera is facing. And as you can see, we have two options, the back and the front. I'm gonna choose the back because most people scan with the QR code on the back side. Nice thing about this component as well, is it gives you this prop on barcode scanned. And every time a barcode is scanned, you get it back in the data. So as you can see right now, I got the camera working, which is really cool. So I'm gonna do a bonus thing really quickly. I'm not gonna show you how to make this overlay, but a cool thing about the camera is that you can overlay other components on top of it like this, see? And then we get that nice little square for where you wanna aim the QR code. Uh, actually, it doesn't quite go edge to edge. Let me quickly fix that. I know it's an Android problem. So we're gonna say if platform.os is Android, what we're gonna do is we're gonna render a status bar and we're gonna hide it. And now if we go back and forward, you can see that the scanner runs edge to edge. Okay, that was a tangent, but I think it was a fun one. <laughs> let's get back to actual QR code scanning. And let's pop up a nice QR code to do that with. And I'm gonna scan, and then I'm gonna look at the console, and then we're gonna confirm whether it's actually scanning. And as you can see from the background here, our QR code is getting scanned quite a bit and things are working nicely. We're almost where we wanna be. Okay, so the last step is of course, to be able to link out to another screen, uh, which in this case, we're just gonna link out to the browser. And the way we do that is to use the linking API. And we can open URL data. Thing is though, I don't just like calling this um, because it's a little too fast to scan the barcode and it looks a little weird to me. So uh, you'll see if I scan it, like the second the barcode comes in, you saw that the app just kind of flashed over to the next part. And there's kind of another bug here too. Um, sometimes when you go back into the app, if I scan this again. Okay, you don't always see it, but sometimes it'll like jump in and out. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give it a little bit of time before the URL opens so that the user can have time to actually, you know, aim the, the camera and all that. Okay, so if I go back into my QR code, which is here, you'll now see that it actually scans and jumps out. But the problem we have is that it will try to do set timeout twice because we add that we added that little bit of delay there so the user had more time to aim. Uh, this is not too difficult to fix. Basically the way you do it is you just add a little lock in there so that the QR code is scanned. Uh, what happens is uh, it enables the lock and when you come back, it releases the lock. So we'll say QR lock is gonna be use ref. And that's gonna start off as false. Oh, I gotta import use ref. The app state is going to be equal to the app state dot current state. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a use effect. 
And what the use effect's gonna do is the use effect is going to control the lock. And whenever the screen comes back into focus, it's going to unlock everything. So opening the QR code is going to lock from being able to scan more. Coming back into the screen is going to unlock it. So in order to do that, we create a subscription, which is gonna be on the app state. And every time the app state changes. Inside of here, we're gonna say if the app state dot current matches uh, either inactive or backgrounded. And the next app state, which actually comes from here, whoops, uh, is active. So if you're coming from the background to the foreground, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say the app state dot current is gonna be equal to the next app state. And actually, sorry, I put that outside the if. Inside the if, if we're going from the background to the foreground, we're gonna say the QR code lock is gonna be false, which means it's now unlocked. Uh, and of course, just to be good citizens of the app, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the subscription uh, when we're done with the screen. All right, last thing we're gonna do is in the actual on barcode scanned, we're gonna say if there is actual data and the QR code lock is not active, then we're gonna actually go in and we're gonna do the set timeout. So let me reload the app and let's check if this worked. So scan code. And as you can see, I jump in the app when I do that. Oh, and we still see the bug. And the reason we see the bug is because I forgot to actually set the lock to true. All right, let's try this one more time. I think that should fix it. Let's reload. And if we try again, we can scan the code. And if we come back, it doesn't jump out. And we can just keep scanning that code all the times that we want. All right, so that's everything guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun with it and happy hacking.